Hello guys, today we are talking about car body parts. A complete list of car body parts are Body shell Hood or bonnet Front and rear bumper Bumper grille Crash guard or bull bars Headlights Fog lamp Indicator lights Wiper blade Windshield Car pillars Radiator supports Cow panel Quarter panel Fender Fender liners Roof Sunroof Mirrors Doors Door handle Window glass Quarter window Trunk or deck lids Mud flaps Wheels Hubcap Dashboard Number plate And tail lights Now let's take a look at each of car body parts with details starting with Body shell The vehicle body shell is the functional backbone The body is the primary structure of a motor vehicle resting on the chassis and housing the electrical and mechanical components as well as the seats. It is made to support the weight of all components that are present in the car and even handles the weight of passengers. Hood or Bonnet The car hood is also known as a bonnet in some countries. This is the type of thin sheet cover that is hinged and rests over the engine of motor vehicles. The hood can open to allows direct access to the engine compartment for maintenance and repair purposes. In addition, it also protects car parts from direct sunlight and dust. A hidden latch is commonly used along with a hood to hold it securely when you're taking a look inside your car. Front and Rear Bumper The function of the bumper is to protect your car if a sudden collision happens. In this case, the front bumper absorbs most of the impact during low-speed collisions to prevent serious damage to the driver, vehicle, and passengers. The rear bumper is designed to prevent heavy damage when you, unfortunately, hit a wall while taking a reverse turn. Bumper reduces or prevents physical damage to the front and rear sides of vehicles in low-speed accidents. The bumper is basically made of steel, aluminum, rubber, or plastic. Bumper grill. The bumper grill covers the front body of the vehicle and allows your engine to keep cool. When you drive your car, it sucks the air through the grill which serves to provide ventilation through the engine bay. Primarily, it protects the radiator and allows cold air to enter the radiator of the car. Crash guards or bull bars. The crash guards are attached to the front frame or chassis of the car. This is mostly seen in SUVs and MPVs to protect them from damage in case of an accident. These are typically made of heavy-duty steel and can effectively shield the front end of the vehicle. Headlights A headlight is a light attached to the front of a vehicle to illuminate the road ahead so the driver may drive safely and without getting tired. The two types of headlights are low beam and high beam, which allow drivers to see the road in the dark and also indicating to other drivers that a vehicle is present. Fog lamp Fog lights are designed to enhance visibility when bad weather conditions like rainy and foggy conditions reduce driver ability to see the road ahead. Fog lights should be used when driver visibility is less than 100 meters. Mainly two types of fog lamps are used. Front fog lights can cut through mist, fog, rain or even dust as they are mounted lower down than headlights in the front of the car. Front fog lights that emit a yellow or white light. Rear fog lights use bright red light bulbs to cut through mist and fog to alert other road users of your presence, they can dazzle other drivers to stop. Indicator lights Indicator lights are also called side lights or sometimes parking lights. Indicator lights are available in red, orange and some are white in color. They can be located on the front, rear, and sometimes on both the left and right sides of the car. These are used to indicate a desired change of direction, whether turning left or right or going out into traffic. You need to use them at right time to give other drivers enough time to react and adapt to your signal. Once you have completed the turn make sure the indicator is off otherwise it may confuse other drivers. Wiper Blade Almost all vehicles including cars, trucks, buses, etc. have wiper blades and are very important for the clear vision of the driver. These devices used to clear rain, snow, ice, washer fluid, water, or debris from a vehicle's front window so that the driver can see what lies ahead of them. They are made of rubber that is degradable and becomes less effective over time. That's why it's important to replace them every 6 to 12 months. Windshield or windscreen. Windshield of vehicle is front window, which provides visibility of driver. Windshield protect the vehicle occupants from wind and flying debris such as dust, insects, and rocks, and provide an aerodynamically formed window towards the front. Generally, Windshield is made from laminated glass or tempered glass. Car Pillars The pillars on a car with permanent roof body style are the vertical or nearly vertical supports of its window are designated respectively as the A, B, C and D pillar, moving from front to rear, in profile view. A car pillars or columns, sometimes called posts. Radiator Supports The vehicle radiator is supported and mounted with the car's main frame by a mechanism called radiator support. Radiator support is a frame made of steel, plastic, 
or aluminum that protects the radiator from suffering damage by securing it under the hood of the car. It also holds the condenser assembly and cooling fan system so that they preventing them from harm while the car is running. Cowl Panel A cowl is the panel that covers the gap between car's hood and windshield. It supports both the windshield and the dashboard and it's making sure no unwanted elements get into the windshield wiper system or the cabin filter area. Quarter Panel It is a side section of an automobile body that usually wraps around the wheel well, between the door and trunk lid or between the door and the hood. It supports the rear bumpers, the trunk of the automobile, and other rear panels, including the back panel. Fender A fender is the curved section between the door and the hood, and may sometimes also be referred to as a quarter panel. Its primary function is to protect the passenger compartments by preventing sand, mud, rocks, liquids, and other road spray from being thrown into the air by the rotating tire. Fender Liner In every type of vehicle, each wheel has a separate fender liner. Its function to prevent dirt, mud, water, environmental toxins, slush, and other impurities from seeping into the engine bay and causing severe corrosion and harm. It also helps protect the wiring and other components inside of the wheel well from corrosion. Roof A roof is the top portion of a vehicle that sits above the passenger compartment, protecting the vehicle occupants from sunlight, wind, rain, and other external elements. The car ceilings are typically coated with headliners that provide insulation against heat and noise, and also hide wires and hardware for electrical components, antennas, and other accessories. Sunroof A sunroof is a type of panel on the roof of a car that either slides or can be pulled out to allow light in. It gives passengers a clear view of the sky, keeps the car ventilated, and lets the sunlight in, creating a feeling of open space. Mirrors In cars, Side view mirrors and rear view mirrors are the two most common types of mirrors used. Side view mirror. These are also known as wing mirrors. These mirrors are located on the exterior of the vehicles to help the driver see areas behind and side of the vehicle or outside the driver's peripheral vision. The advantage of side mirrors being convex is that you get a wider view of each side of the car which helps reduce blind spots. Rear view mirror. The rectangular mirror at the top of a inside car's windshield is called a rear view mirror. It's provide a variety of uses that contribute to your safety as a driver. It gives you an alert driving experience by allowing you to see behind your vehicle without turning your head. In addition, they are especially important when a vehicle is moving in reverse gear. Car doors A car door is a type of door opening, typically hinged on its front edge, but sometimes attached by other mechanisms such as tracks, for entering and exiting a vehicle. There are different types of car doors available like conventional door, swan door, sliding door, gullwing door and butterfly door etc. Car doors may be manually operated or with power assist supplied by the vehicle. Power doors may be found on minivans, luxury vehicles, or modified cars. Window glass. The basic reason for the use of window glass in cars is visibility. The visibility controlled by the glass is extremely useful whether at the front, side, or back of the car. The glass allows passengers to see where they are going and allows natural sunlight or artificial street lighting to enter the vehicle. There are usually two types of window glass use single layer toughened glass or laminated safety glass. Quarter window. It is a type of side window that is located before the front door glass or after the rear door glass. In some models, the fixed quarter window may be placed in the corner or C-pillar of the vehicle. They provide a quick peek of the road around the vehicle so that the driver can turn, speed up, park or change lanes safely. These windows are often found on older vehicles. These are small triangular in shape at the front and separate from the main window. Door handle. Door handles help the driver or passengers to get in or out of the car. Door handles are contained door locks. Usually, we use the door handle to unlock the car from outside or inside. Depending on the model of the car, there are different types of door handles available. Trunk or deck lids. The trunk of a car is also known as dicky or boot space. The trunk lid of a car is the main storage or luggage compartment which is often located at the rear of the vehicle such as sedan, coupe, or convertible. Also, keep in mind that the engine will use more fuel if you load more luggage. Mud flaps. Mud flaps are also referred to as splash guards or mud guards. Mud flaps for your vehicle is get to necessary whether you drive a sedan, SUV, or truck. This is useful when your tires are constantly exposed to mud, dirt rocks, salt, water, and other elements on the road. A car without mud flaps will require more regular maintenance. Wheels. Wheels are most basic and important parts of a car body. These are circular forms that generate rotary motion and are responsible for moving the car from one point to another. The tire is the rubber part that wraps around the wheel and grips the road surface. Although the wheels can spin without tires, the car does not go very far. Hubcap. 
It is a decorative disc on an automobile wheel that covers the central part of the wheel. The function of the hubcap is to cover wheel hub and wheel fasteners to reduce the dirt and moisture collection. It also enhances the overall structure of the wheel. When you drive without a hubcap, all kinds of dirt and debris get trapped in the tires, which can lead to tire wear and tear. By having a hubcap, foreign particles do not damage your wheels and provide longer life. Dashboard The dashboard is the controlling panel of any kind of vehicle. This is also known as dash or instrument panel. It lies within the central console of a vehicle and is usually located directly ahead of the driver. The driver's tools and controls for operating the car are displayed on the dashboard. It has simple controls like steering wheel and an array of instrumentation to show speed, fuel level, and oil pressure. Information, climate control, and entertainment systems are typically found in modern models. Number plate. The vehicle registration plate is commonly known as number plate. Every vehicle must have a number plate because of the government's Motor Vehicle Act. The number plate reflects the very specific details of the vehicle and consists of four important elements. It also gives a unique identity to the vehicle. Nowadays, all vehicles on the road are preferred to display registration on both the front and rear sides of the vehicle. There are different types of number plates in India like white number plate, yellow number plate and green number plate etc. Tail lights. The tail lights mounted to the rear of the car above the bumper consider the safety aspect of the vehicle. These lights allow your vehicle to be seen during low visibility conditions and alert other drivers that you are slowing down. On most vehicles, the tail light is red. That's it. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Like, share and comments on video. And also do not forget to subscribe this channel.